So we're going to begin again with primal flow evaluation and we're going to start with ankle dorsiflexion like I explained last time. The foot is the first part of our body where we have to strike the ground so we need a stable platform and then we need a mobile joint to be able to allow us to transfer the force that we get from our stable platform to drive all our movement. So we start with 10 lots of plantar and dorsiflexion and then we have 10 circles each way with the ankles. And if you look, my thighs don't rotate very much. I'm trying to keep my legs as still as possible, make sure that the rotation's all coming from my ankles. Then we're gonna to go to straight leg raises, called a scissor leg lift. We're gonna do five on each leg. So this is an active straight leg raise with my plant foot going flat on the ground as it would be for a get up. So we do five on each side. Then we're gonna to go to, it's an assisted active straight leg raise. So my top leg now as my other leg lowers, I'm pulling my top leg towards me just slightly to allow me to get a little bit more stretch. You'll find it's a little bit more difficult. Somehow it also ends up being a little bit of an abdominal exercise. You'll see what I mean when you do it. After you've done five on each leg, we're going to come up to a straight leg sitting stance and we're going to do some shoulder mobility S waves. So I'm simply trying to reach up and down my back as far as I can each side and you can actually see on my right side, I'm not as good in internal rotation reaching up my back as I am on my left hand side. So I have some work to do there. Then we move into the figure four position and we're gonna do five on each side. So remember your back hand should be planted flat on the ground, shoulder packed, chest up, just as you would be if you're in the tall sitting position of the get up. So we do five on each side and then we're going to move into hip circles. Now this actually gets us into a get up position and you'll see here I'm basically getting into my tall sitting position for the get up. I have a little bit more hip work to get this position and I have a little bit of uh, active hamstring flexibility to allow me to get to that position. Then we move into a figure four lunge. Again, I'm still just checking my movement here. We're going to do three on each side You'll see the front foot stays planted the whole time. I have a little bit of dorsiflexion going on in the front foot, so I'm working on my active ankle mobility. And I've got plantar flexion on the back leg, so I'm increasing some ankle mobility at the back there. We move straight out of there, just into a prone cobra. So I'm gonna straighten my arms out as much as possible and arch myself up, looking up at the roof. After I've done three, I'm gonna stay in my prone position. And I'm gonna re return to those S waves that we just did really get some more shoulder mobility here. Just a slightly different feel when we do them from this position than we do from sitting. Then I come back to rocking. So I go from my prone position, I push up, come back and rock backwards three times. We're gonna repeat this three times. So I've got three push-ups, three rocks, times three. Then on the third one, we're gonna walk, move into, we call it creeping. So when we crawl our knees are off the ground, when we creep, our knees are on the ground. So I've got five creeps on each side and I'm touching the opposing shoulder each time I do it. After my five, I return to the ground and we do a sweep roll. So we're now moving into, we have kata in primal move that are very similar to uh, kata in martial arts. They're a set movement. We perform them a certain way and this is part of the first one. So we've got five neck rolls from side to side and then we're gonna do three sweep rolls each way. So I, ro I sweep one hand around and use it to help me roll over. And then as I come back, I'm gonna keep my hand cupped around my head, look into the hole between my elbow and reach out towards the direction I wanna to roll to. It's very similar to uh, the upper body rolls in the FMS corrections. It's a very easy way to get to it. You'll see I'm actually using one of my hands to help me roll over. And when I come back, I've got my feet off the ground. So the only thing causing that roll is my reach for the wall. Then we sit up and we're gonna do one happy baby progression. So I grab hold of my toes, I rock side to side and straighten out the top leg. So uh, we're gonna do three each side, so we've got one to go. Then you'll see I come straight back up to sitting. I get my legs out of the way and come back to my prone position and we return to our cobra. So we're going to do three more again of these. And after the third one, I come back to my knees and we're going to do a creeping and crawling sequence here. 
So after my rocks, I'm going to creep forward three steps, creep back three steps, reset myself, use the opposite hand to go forward, and then return that. And we can do one more. And this is the third one. So we go forward three steps, back three steps, and then we're going to repeat this with crawling. So knees come off the ground now, slightly more advanced version. We go forward three steps, back three steps, reset the hands and feet, alternate this time. So come forward with the other hand, back three steps, and the same again. Trying to keep my body as level as possible. You see my shoulders and hips aren't rocking around. They stay nice and flat. Then we're going to check our squat, and we're going to go to a standing position, walk forward, do a push-up, come back, check the squat, stand again, and one more and we'll be done. So it should be nice and warm and mobile, ready to train, and we'll see you next week.